Hi and welcome to this tutorial video. In this tutorial video I want to show you how to knit an I-cord edging. And uh, I'm knitting this little patriotic bunting because tomorrow as I'm filming this it's King's Day and I want to have some window decoration. So um, I want to be finishing this bunting uh, with an I-cord edging and I've already knit some I-cord here so that the edging, you know, is a little bit wider so I can use this to, you know, cover it with washi tape to stick to whatever surface I want to. And if you want to knit an I-cord, I really recommend double pointed needles or circular needles. Any needles that don't have, um, like that have two tips, one at either end. So I just cast on three stitches so I use the slip knot and then I cast on two extra stitches and you need a double point or a circular because you want to slide your work to the other side and then you start in the rightmost stitch and just knit all of them knitwise and then again um, if you're working this on straight needles actually you can transfer it again to the other side to the other needle uh, just an extra step but with the double points or with a circular needle you can just slide it to the other end and then knit from there. So if you want to prepare uh, a little length of I-cord before joining it to the bunting uh, or to the object that you want to knit an I-cord edging for, then you do this. If you want to just uh, create an I-cord edging for, for only the bit that you want the I-cord edging for, then um, Usually I already pick up the stitches, so let's say I, I'll pick them up for the blue part of this bunting. And because it's garter, I can really pick up the stitches easily. So I'll just go through the garter bumps. Um, so you'll have to cast on extra stitches here and I'm going to do that with the knitted cast on. So I'll just insert, loop the yarn around and pull up a loop and then you put this loop on the um, needle and then you insert not into this stitch but in between and you cast on two more stitches and now you are ready to um, proceed to the i-cord edging and i'm going to do this uh, for a little while uh, on this blue part and then i'm actually going to attach this bunting so i'll undo that and then i'll uh, attach this piece of i-cord and knit it how I want it to be. So you now have three extra stitches and you're going to knit the first two um, knitwise. And then you have one I-cord stitch left and then the stitches of your work. So I'm going to do a slip slip knit. So I'll slip this stitch knitwise. I'll slip this stitch knitwise. Oh, I think I split that stitch. Okay, well. Inserting the left needle tip back into the stitches with the tip coming out to the front and then knitting them together. And then what you do is you move the stitches back onto the left needle and then you repeat. So you knit two stitches 
and then we do a slip slip knit so slip slipping this stitch is a little bit more difficult and then knit them together and then after a while you will get the I cord edging that is attached to your piece of knitting. Now I'll I'll just unravel this because I want to be attaching this piece of I cord to the bunting. And I have the I cord already on this needle, and I want to thread all of the bunting stitches on this needle too. So whether so whether this is a sweater or a cardigan or a blanket that you want to add an eye cord edging to or a shawl, um, you just pick up the stitches and because I knit this in garter stitch it's easy because I can just pick up the garter bumps. If you haven't done this in garter stitch, then just um, either see if the pattern recommends how many stitches you should pick up. Usually if you knit stockinette, so say this is just stockinette with the stitches in um, this direction, you want to pick up three stitches out of every four. But... Um, yeah, it depends. So just pick up all of the stitches onto your circular needle. And you might not be able to do this if you have a double pointed needle um, because it might not be long enough. So if your double pointed needle is not long enough, for example, you're only able to uh, thread these stitches onto it, then just, you know, And just do this first and when you get there then proceed to the rest of the stitches okay I have all of the stitches on here and my piece of I cord so I'm going to slide the work to the other needle tip um, so my yarn is there so that means I'm just going to knit two stitches from the I cord and then I'll do the slip slip knit. And um, on this particular piece, so I'm slipping the, the first one and now my I cord is loose again. On this particular piece, it's quite difficult to slip these stitches. Uh, so I'm just knitting them together so I'm just um, slipping this purl-wise because it's easier and then I'll knit it together and I'll move it back and repeat. So knit two and then slip, slip, knit, slide all stitches back, knit two slip, slip, oh, knit. I'm now knitting continentally, so let's, let me show you in the uh, English style, so throwing style. Knit two stitches, slip, slip, knit. And before I move the stitches over to the left needle, I'm just holding my work, tugging it downwards so that I make the, knit, the loops larger. Then I insert my left needle into it, slide my right needle out. And just the tugging on it makes it um, easier to transfer the stitches from one needle to another.
and that is how I knit my I-cord edging. So you can, here the stitches are a little bit looser so I can show you how it actually works. So you slip the first one, you slip the second one knitwise. Um, if you've ever done a slip slip knit you know what I mean. Um, but since for most of these stitches I've already finished one of these buntings and on that one it was really difficult as well so because it was difficult to slip stitches knitwise you can also just slip them purl wise it's the the slipping of the first stitch that counts really so i'll be finishing this and then i'll meet you back at the end when i'll be knitting some more loose eye cord I'm coming up to the last couple of stitches now. And again, slip, slip, knit. And for the last stitch there. And now, so if you've just started here with the I cord, you can just cast off right now. Um, but if you want to continue to knit a bit of I cord, you just slide the work to your other needle tip and then continue in I cord. But now you're knitting all three of the stitches and not knitting it together with something. And you just knit as many rounds as you want or until it matches the one on the other side. And weaving in your ends with eye cord is really easy because you just Weave it into the center. So at one point I just bend the eye cord so that this can come out. And then we go back. And that's all you need to do. There, so now I'm going to finish that for the other side and then I'm going to block this because it actually has a tendency to kind of twirl and not lay flat. So, but that's specific for my project. So, uh, I'm going to finish this and I hope this tutorial was helpful for you to create an I-cord edging. Happy knitting! <laughs>